Uh, in this video, uh, we're going to look at um, a couple of the slightly more intricate scaffolds in the schedule it module, so the chimney scaffolds and the temporary roofs. Um, so to add a chimney stack um, or a temporary roof, we simply click on the option from the scaffold menu um, and then we get uh, this screen, unlike the other scaffold types with the simple table. Um, and in here you can edit the dimensions um, and as you come down through the dimensions you can see we have a handy graphic which shows you which um, dimension you're actually editing. Um, you can select the access sides for the chimney scaffolds um, and it will demonstrate to you there what, what you're changing, your walkway length, your gable height, whether or not you're accessing from the gable or in from the eaves, uh, whether or not you want to add cladding, the number of boards um, and whether or not you want to add brick guards to it. Um, and the other type of scaffold is the temporary roof. So if we have a look at the temporary roof, um, again we get the same handy graphics so we can see our beam layout, we can choose our beam lengths, the width of our roof, what pitch height you want to work to, the base height of the roof, so obviously the height of your supporting scaffold, maximum height for the pitch, um, beam spacing, plan frequency, uh, plan bracing frequency and the maximum span length as well as the roof covering. Okay, so we can make all the changes on this on this table here um, in schedule it and that will inform uh, the model that the software produces so you can see there's my temporary roof there's my attached chimney scaffold if you want to produce a chimney scaffold that's um, not attached to an existing independent and just has an access tower um, that's also easily achieved you just start in model it go to chimney stack Click the top option, you get your basic chimney stack there, and you can either edit the dimensions here and model it, or you can go back to schedule it. Click on your chimney stack, and you get your handy chart. Um, so we can set the height to, for example, uh, we can set the, the width to two meters or, or more. We can choose our, our cladding, um, and so on can also set the height of our supporting tide tower here so we can put that to say 10 meters and then when we go back to our model you can see our chimney scaffold has updated with those changes